Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In today's video, I will show you how to add text over images in Elementor in four different ways. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. All right, so let's start with the first method by using the image widget. I will drag the image widget to the canvas on the right and I will choose my image, which is going to be this nice mountain. And I will click on insert image. Once I inserted the image, I will change the caption from none to custom and I will enter my custom text, which in this case is going to be mountain. And I can see the text over here just below the image. Now let's move on to the style tab and I will expand the caption tab. And here I can change the style and design of the text. For example, I can make the text bigger, change its color, the space it a bit, etc. I can even apply a background color that I will show you later on. But for now, let's just make some space between the letters, just like so. And when I'm happy with the result, it's time to move on into the advanced tab and actually position the text over the image. So here we will need to use some custom CSS. So we'll expand the custom CSS tab and we'll copy the CSS from here. We will apply the CSS code to the selector fee caption, which is the tag we are targeting. And we'll paste the CSS here and we can see the word over the image, which is great. Now the custom CSS option is only available for pro users. If you have the free version of Elementor, just expand the layout option and enter a custom class. We'll call it text over image and type it exactly as you see it here. We'll click on publish and we'll visit the page and open the customize screen in order to add the CSS from the customization screen instead. That's if you don't have Elementor Pro. So we'll click on additional CSS and again, we'll go to the written blog post and this time we'll copy the whole code and we'll paste it here. And we can see the mountain word or the text over the image. Great. Now we'll refresh our Elementor page builder and we can see the CSS took effect. And we can actually see what the text over the image looks like and we can design it better. So let's move on to the style tab once again. And this time maybe we can add like a background color, maybe pink, and we can reduce the opacity to see the background image behind it. Now we can see that it's taking the full width. So let's change the image to take the full width as well. And now it looks very good. And just don't forget to publish it. And that's it, you're done with the first method. In this second method, we will use either the text editor or the title. We will drag it to the canvas on the right and we will enter our custom text over here. For this example, I will enter I love snow, just like so. Excellent. Now let's move on to the style tab to design it a little bit better. We'll center it and change the color maybe to black or any other color. And we'll change and increase the font size and make it bold. Then let's move on to the advanced tab and here we will apply a background image. So we'll choose our image, which will be this uh, snow mountain. And now we need to play with its position. So first of all, let's position it to be center center, no repeat, and we'll choose the image to cover the section. Great. Now we can see the image behind the text. However, we would like to see more of the image. Therefore, we'll expand the layout tab and we'll start adding padding to the text. Uh, let's say to the top and bottom, we can add 100 pixels and maybe to the sides, we can add 20 pixels, which is not going to change in this example. If we'd like to show more of the image, obviously you will need to increase the padding of the top and bottom. So for example, let's do it 200 pixels. And as you can see, uh, you have the text over the image. Of course, you can always go back to the style tab and keep uh, designing it and style it to fit the background image better. When using this method, just make sure to switch to the mobile view and verify that it looks good over there. You may need to change some of the values. In this case, I will reduce the font size so it will take only one row and I will change the padding from 200 to 100. So I will see less of it only on mobile view.
just like so. In this method, we will use the gallery widget. So we will drag it from here to the canvas on the right. And we will choose an image from our library. In this case, it's going to be this latte. And we will enter a custom caption to it. Almond milk latte, for example, and we'll click on insert gallery. Now the gallery by default is divided to four columns. So let's change it to one column and we'll change the image size to full so it won't be pixelated. You can also change the link from the default to none so it won't open up in a new window. Now you can see that hovering over the image will create a background color. So we can turn it off by going to the overlay and turn off the background switch. And this time we'll change the title to caption and which will show the caption that we entered, which is almond milk latte, but you can only see it when hovering over the image. So let's switch to the style tab and we will expand the caption option. And this time we'll change the hover animation to none. And then the text will be displayed over the image regardless. Now we can change any aspect of it. As you already know, we can change the color, size, weight, text decoration, etc. And there you have it. It's a beautiful image with a nice text over it. In this method, we will use the hotspot widget. So we'll drag it to the right. And the hotspot widget is pretty cool because you can choose an image and then mark some of the features of the image and I will show you exactly what I'm talking about. So let's choose this dog and we'll center the image and as you can see by default it comes with one hotspot and clicking on the hotspot here will show text over the image. So let's define this hotspot and maybe add more based on our requirements. So I will expand the first hotspot and I will give it a label. It's optional you don't have to. I will call it nose and the description will be this is the dog nose or the nose of the dog. And then I will move on to the position tab and I would like to move it to the right and just below the nose, just like so. And that's the perfect spot for it. Now let's add another hotspot. And this time maybe we can point out where the tail is. So we'll label it as tail. And of course we'll change the description to this is the tail and then we'll move on to the position tab to position it over the tail. So let's move it to the left and maybe to the bottom just like so. And we can also uh, click on it to verify that the text is being displayed correctly. Now let's add another one and this time we'll call it ear. I think you got the gist of it and move on to the position tab and position it over the right ear. Now, of course you can add as many as you want, but this is just an example. And you can see that clicking on the element will display the text. If you would like to trigger it only by hovering over it, just change it from click to hover and hovering over the hotspot will be enough to trigger and display the text over the image. When you're ready, just publish the section and that's it. All right, guys, so thank you very much for watching this video. Please let me know if you have any questions regarding this process by leaving a comment down below. Please also like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way. I will see you all in the next video.